In the spotlight this morning, the Rhode Island International Film Festival kicks off at the Providence Performing Arts Center tonight. The 28th annual event will showcase hundreds of films from all over the world. And joining us this morning to tell us all about it and how it all works is Sean Quirk and Erica Atwell. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Thanks Great for being, being here. here. And Erica just started your own production company, right? I did. Thank you so much. That's super cool. Yeah, you enjoy your productions and super happy to be back in Rhode Island. That's great. Well, we're glad you had to have you here. Sean, I'm going to start with you because it really is such an exciting day and I know how much you love film and all everything that goes along with us. So tell us about some of the films that, uh, that are going to be shown tonight. We've got a great lineup tonight. We have a new film. It's a world premiere starring Deborah Monk. She's a character actor in a ton of, of shows we all know. Right. Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. She'll be here at PPAC. So be sure to check that out. It's called it's called Hold. It's okay. a great short film, and uh, we have Gordy. It's a it's a world premiere of a French short film. So it's a wonderful film about just a child dealing with some difficult um, situations of his life. But but it's it's done in a very magical, uh, wonderful way. So That's it's great. great. And, and we uh, also just will we yeah. also have um, the Red Balloon. It's a you know classic film from the '60s, right? And that's going to be have a live musical accompaniment, uh, organ from PPAC that's by awesome. Peter Krasinski. He's a world-renowned organist, so it's going to be a great night. And look at how cool! I mean, it really does. It looks incredible. Like even just the video that we have up here on the screen. And it says there's a, a previous film from the festival that won an Oscar. Tell us about that too. Silent Child. Oh, nice. Premiered in 2017, went on to win the Oscar in 2018. And they had their world premiere with us. They won the grand prize. They went on to get nominated and then win the Oscar. And, and now they have their own production company, Slick Films. And they're just, every year they're producing f like five, ten short films. And, and they're working on their first feature as well. Wow, so. that's, that's really cool. And Erica, so tell us about some of the other projects that have been selected for this. Sure. Um, so I can speak to a panel that I'm going to be sponsoring and hosting. And I'm very excited about it. We have a local Rhode Island girl coming back, Courtney McNulty. Okay. She is the director of legal at Warner Brothers Studios. She's coming. We have uh, Tiffany Smith. We have Bo Youngblood, a director who just sold her film ahead of going to Cannes Film Festival. They're going to be coming and talking about females in film, um, everything from when you say action to the end credits. Right. And then we have Ron Trupa coming back, too. So he's a local Rhode Island guy who's out at Catalina Film Festival, executive director. He's coming to speak on a panel that Sean will be moderating with someone from Tribeca Film Festival, another legend. So we're just really excited to bring it here and celebrate from you know all walks of life storytelling and it's so great look I'm a, I'm a dad of two of two girls so I'm so happy that so many women are getting involved and even for you just starting your own production company it has to be a great thing absolutely I think that a lot of these stories that are going to be showcased uh, definitely have a female perspective which is needed in our industry absolutely. and it's just really wonderful to celebrate that that's really good stuff uh, 350 projects have been selected out of 7046 submissions how are we narrowing this down like how are we saying okay you're in <laughs> we've got a very talented team of judges right a lot of them are former filmmakers actually mm -hmm. who joined the team and they're, they're they're positioned all over the world and and they and with that the festival reflects that global view so right. it's a really amazing lineup and if you want to if you want to just go to any show any show mm -hmm. this week and you'll I guarantee you you'll 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 want to come back for more and more it's a really great we have Richard Stanley as well here he's the he just directed color out of space with Nicolas Cage okay and he's in talks with having a, a new HP Lovecraft adaptation Wow that he wants to shoot in Rhode Island sure, that's Plus so we have Michael Carrenti right yes. of course yes, yes. The local legends right so we're so happy to have him mm -hmm. you know be in this festival as well and and he also has a new movie out as well right he has a new pilot a new pilot yeah. right right based on Federal Hill yeah that's really really good so so if, if uh, just quickly, if someone wants to get uh, tickets for, for any of the nights, how can they go about doing that? Opening night, rafilmfest.org, and the entire schedule, you can find it right there. Got it. Perfect. Well, and thanks. come and walk our red carpet. It's yes. going to be so much fun. That's right. So we're really looking forward to well, it. Well, thanks so much for coming, and best of luck to you, Erica. And Thank thanks you. so much. for good to see you. As, thanks as for having show. us, Will. Great to have you here. Now, you can learn more about the Rhode Island International Film Festival. All you got to do, head on over to roadshow.com.